Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, I got something that I guarantee you guys are going to love, especially if you love previews and predictions. We're going to be talking about the last playing tournament matchup, talking about the Warriors facing the Memphis Grizzlies. The winner will be the 8th seed in the Western Conference. The Grizzlies just beat the Spurs, and the Warriors just lost to the Lakers, which means now there's only one prize, and Steph or John Morant, one of them is only going to get it. So if you're a big fan of these two teams, and you love predictions, you're going to love this. But quickly before I get out of the video, I just want to say if you're new to the channel and you love basketball, welcome to Easy Buckets. My name is Soom and I make basketball videos every single day. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched this video and you loved it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. It would help with the channel a lot. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about the Warriors and the Grizzlies. I just want to give a quick shout out to the Warriors for an amazing match against the Lakers last night. The Lakers against the Warriors in the playing tournament. That was so close, the Warriors almost won it, but LeBron James at the end came through and helped the Lakers win. Nonetheless, the Warriors played amazing. Steph Curry, of course, Draymond, Andrew Wiggins, Juan Anderson, you guys are phenomenal. And I wish you guys luck in the next game. After a tough loss to the Lakers, the Warriors now have one more chance to make the playoffs, to make the 8th seed, and the team in their way is the Memphis Grizzlies, who just beat the Spurs in the first round of the playing tournament. This match is a must win for both teams. Steph Curry says this, It is a win or go home scenario. We've had a high confidence and put together a string of wins and then had a tough loss and had to bounce back, so we've been there. Steve Kerr, the Warriors head coach, says this about the team, Steph, Draymond, Kevon Looney, those guys have been in the playoffs year after year. This is what the playoffs are about. Every game is hugely emotional and you always have to respond one way or the other. Whether you're coming off a win or you're coming off a loss. Steve Kerr is basically saying, after the L to the Lakers, the Warriors can't put their head down. There's still one more chance and the job is not done. When talking about the Grizzlies, the Grizzlies beat the Spurs on Wednesday night. It was actually an amazing planned tournament game as well. They won only by 4 points, and their Spurs could have won as well. And with the Grizzlies right now feeling hot, John Morant's feeling hot, the Warriors have to be ready. John Morant says this, Our plan is to pack for a 3 game road trip. Basically what he's saying is that if he beats the Warriors, he knows they're going to be traveling to Utah and then facing the Jazz in two away games, which basically means three road trips, one in San Francisco and two in Utah. John Rant is saying they're going to win the playing tournament match. What I love the most about the Grizzlies is simply how they have so much depth when it comes to defense and offense, and they're simply a very versatile team when it comes to offense and defense. We're looking at their rotation at their front court. They got JV, Valanchunas. They got Jaron Jackson Jr. They got Brandon Clark. And when talking about the Warriors, they don't really have enough bigs besides Kevon Looney and Draymond. But I believe one of the biggest factors on the Grizzlies is simply them having Dylan Brooks, an amazing on-ball defender, their go-to guy to stop the other team's best player. The Grizzlies and the Warriors met on May 16th. That was a game to determine the 8th seed in the Western Conference. And with the Warriors winning that game, the Warriors learned one thing. Dylan Brooks is the guy that's going to try to stop Steph Curry, especially on those off-ball screens and just chasing him around. Juan Anderson of the Warriors says this about facing the Grizzlies. I think it will be very challenging. It's pretty much playoffs. Everybody's trying to win. Everybody's going to play their hearts out. This is a good team. On the Warriors' perspective, I believe one thing they have to focus on is their turnovers. When talking about the game against the Lakers, especially in the third quarter, the Warriors had 8 turnovers in one quarter. That is crucial to why they actually lost against the Lakers. If they didn't do those turnovers, I do believe they would have been winning most of the game and then put themselves in a better situation to actually win. But against the Grizzlies, taking care of the ball is very important. Steve Kerr knows this, Draymond knows this, and of course Steph knows this. This is going to be very important going forward. Steve Kerr says this about the Warriors, I didn't even think our turnovers were forced, we just made careless decisions with the ball. 
The Grizzlies right now are second in the NBA when it comes to scoring points off turnovers and they actually lead the league in steals per game. And if the Warriors want to beat them, I do believe they have to be smart with the ball and overcome the Memphis Grizzlies defense. So now going over to my prediction of who I believe will win this game, I'm going to be honest, I am saying the Golden State Warriors are going to win this game. They're going to go and be the 8th seed, face the Utah Jazz, maybe pull an upset. And the reason why I'm saying this is simple. The Warriors have Steph Curry, in my opinion right now, he is the best player in the league, he's playing the best basketball of his career, and nobody can stop him. Whether it's Dylan Brooks, whether it's John Morant or Kyle Anderson or Grayson Allen, no one is stopping Steph, and I simply believe when it comes down to the wire, Steph is going to be that guy that will lead the Warriors to victory. This is my firm prediction, the Warriors beating the Grizzlies. But what's most important to me is I want to know your thoughts. Who do you believe will win this matchup in this final playing tournament game? Will it be the Grizzlies or the Warriors? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. But other than that, take it easy. God bless. See you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo!